Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, if you've never seen me before and never heard of me, hi, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm recreating Anushka Sharma's bridal look. As we all know, Anushka and Curly got married this past week in Italy. And how stunning did that couple look? I'm sure you've seen those pictures online and I feel like I can't get enough of those pictures. I've been binge watching them. So I decided to recreate her bridal look. I made all of the jewelry myself and I have included both hair and makeup in this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please don't forget to give me a like, share my video and subscribe to my channel. And without wasting much time, let's get this started. First, I'm using this gray color from my Smashbox Full Exposure Palette to fill in the sparse areas of my brows using an angled brush. Next, I'm using the Ardell Brow Building Gel in dark brown and by combing my hair using this, it'll keep my brows in shape. To clean up the borders of my brows, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Nude. The key to this look is a very illuminated, flawless base. Starting with my lips, I'm going to keep it moisturized by applying this vitamin E oil from Trader Joe's. You can also apply Vaseline, a lip balm, or even coconut oil to do so. To cover up the pores on my face and let the foundation flow smoothly on my skin, I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. Next, I'm using the LA Colors Cover Up Pro Concealer in orange color. This is basically an orange color corrector around my face where I see dark patches and dark circles before I apply the foundation. I'm first going to blend it out with a beauty sponge and then I'm going to set it with some translucent powder and the one that I'm using today is from Artistry. When you set it with some powder, this color will not mix with the foundation that I'll be using next. As Anushka's look was clearly very dewy and very illuminated, I'm going to be using the Dewy Plus Smooth Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline in the color Nude Beige. As Anushka didn't have any strong contouring on her face, I'm going to keep it the same way. But just to add some dimension to my face, I'm going to be using a darker color foundation in the hollows of my face. That way there is some definition, but it doesn't look contoured. To conceal my dark circles, I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. I'm going to set this with the translucent powder again and to set the rest of my face I'm using the Smashbox Press Powder that way all these colors on my face come together but I will still have that definition to my face. And the Smashbox Press Powder color is number 5. Anushka had a very light rosy hue on her cheeks and to achieve that flush of color I'm using this blush it's called So Shy from Sephora and the nice thing about this blush is it has a tiny amount of illumination to it it's not completely matte if you look at Anushka's look she had some illumination going on on the highest point of her cheekbones not necessarily from a highlighter I think the sun was shining directly on her dewy look and it gave that shine from inside and I think this blush is going to serve both. To prep my lids, I'm using a concealer and then I'm going to set it with a translucent powder. 
On her lids, Anushka had a very muted pink eyeshadow and to achieve that look, I'm using this eyeshadow from ColourPop. It's called Tea Party. I'm just going to apply it with my finger and then I'm going to blend it out with a blending brush up to my crease. The only other color she had in her crease as well as lower lash line is a light brown color. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to pick this light brown color and with a blending brush, I'm going to blend it out in the outer V in the crease as well as lower lash line. She definitely had a black color in her waterline, so I'm going to be using this NYX eye pencil in black and I'm going to apply it in my waterline. Then I'm going to set it with a black eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to be using this cream color shimmer to highlight my brow bones as well as inner corners, just so I can open up my eyes further and make it appear brighter. To finish up this look, I'm curling my lashes and applying some mascara. The one that I'm using today is from Wet n Wild. It's their Lashomatic Mascara. It's very hard to tell from her pictures if she just applied mascara and called it a day or she also had falsies. Some look like she had falsies, some look like she just applied a mascara. Either way, I like it just with mascara. I think it looks very classy, but I just wanted a tiny amount of volume. So I'm using the Ardell Natural Lashes. These are barely their lashes. They just add very, very less volume to your existing lashes and they don't look over the top, winged out, crazy dramatic lashes. So I just decided to use this as well. To achieve her peach nude lips, first I'm using this Kate Nude Collection lipstick in shade 46 from Rimmel. Over that, I'm using the Artistry Light Up Lip Gloss in Pink Nude. And finally, I'm using the Wet n Wild Setting Spray on my face just so all the makeup melts into my skin and looks more skin-like rather than powder. And also, it helps my makeup to last longer. To achieve her hairstyle, you will need a rag tail comb, a teasing brush, some hair padding, this is basically some hair spun into a net bag. You can either make it or buy it outside. You will need a hair bun donut, a couple of elastics or rubber bands, clips to help you section out your hair, and a few bobby pins. It's easier to do this hairdo when you washed your hair a day or a couple days before. I washed my hair yesterday. First, I'm going to center part my hair to add the tikka. And then I'm going to section out my hair on either side up until my ears. Next, I'm going to section out the crown part of my hair. This is where I will be attaching the hair padding. With the rest of the hair, I'm going to tie a ponytail in the back. To add the padding, I'm going to section out the crown part of my hair into two parts. Next, I'm going to start teasing the back part of my hair. I'm going to add some hairspray, spread it out a little bit and then start rolling the padding into it. After I'm done rolling, I'm going to fix it on my crown and I'm going to secure it with bobby pins. Once this is secure and it doesn't move around, I'm going to start taking sections of hair from around the crown. I'm going to start teasing it and packing this poof until it looks neat. I will continue to pack this poof and pin everything in the back and it might look a little bit messy in the back with all the hair pinned but that's okay because we will be covering everything up with flowers. 
Next I'm going to insert the donut into my ponytail, wrap the hair around this donut and make a bun. And this is how the hair looks right now and we will be inserting some flowers. With the two sections in front, I like to give it one quick twist and pin it in the back. And if you like, you can add some hairspray just to neaten everything up a little bit. Anushka's bun was wrapped with beautiful peach and pink color Tuscan hydrangeas and those were fresh flowers. I went and bought some silk flowers and I'm going to wrap my bun as well with these. I cut the stem up to the tip where it holds the whole bunch together. So I'll be inserting this tip into my bun and I'll be securing the flowers with bobby pins. And finally, I'm adding all the jewelry and accessories and I'm setting my dupatta so it sits over the poof. And here's the final look, my friends. Let me know what you thought of it by commenting below. And uh, I hope I did justice to how she looked. She looked like a beautiful peach goddess and I hope I could even come close to half of what she looked. Of course, she was completely in Sabya Sakshi. This is all the jewelry made by me so it's DIY Smita Deepak but I hope I could at least get close enough to what she was looking. If you like this video don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up and please share my video if you can. If you can't that's okay as well. I will not hate on you. I will still love you a lot. I will see you on Tuesday with a brand new one. Bye guys! Bye.